hi let's talk about permutation in this video uh, in the previous video we'll talk about the factorials and uh, we took a simple example uh, suppose if we have uh, uh, five people and uh, we have five seats one two three four and five and now these five people want to sit on this five seats so how are the different ways we can have them sit on this uh, chairs right so for this uh, what we did was we look at the possibilities for the first chair and the possibility for the first chair was five you have five different ways somebody can sit on the first chair right so but once you are sitting on the first chair we have selected a person you're only left with the four choices for the second chair and once you selected the fourth uh, uh, like the the second seat then you're only left with the three choices and similarly for two and one so if we look at the number of possibilities that will be equal to uh, multiplication of all these possibilities and that can be called as five factorial or that will be equal to 120 right so this was the formula for the factorial now in the permutation instead of five seats we have actually less number of seats so I'll call it three seats so what will happen if we have three seats in this case again the possibility for the first seat will be five the possibility for the second seat will be four and the possibility for third seat will be three but we have no more seats anymore so the number of scenarios will be less so if we multiply five by four twenty and then we have left with the sixty now this uh, can also be written in another way so so let me s just write here three seats right so this can also be written in another form and that is we can write 5 4 and 3 as 5 4 3 2 and 1 and below we can write it as 3 sorry we can write as 2 and 1 right so this will cancel out so this is the same thing right now in this case now this can be written as 5 factorial the advantage of using this way is that now we can write it in terms of factorials so this is 5 factorial and underneath it's 2 factorial and now you will say why 2 there is no 2 in this problem right so basically 2 is the difference of the number of people and the number of seats so we will call it as 5 factorial divided by 5 minus 3 factorial so this is your this is the permutation formula so basically the formula of n p r goes like this n factorial divided by n minus r factorial and uh, basically in this case uh, you can um, just have any kind of uh, combination uh, you can have uh, 20 people who are sitting on five chairs right so all you have to do is say 20 factorial divided by 20 minus 5 factorial or that's equal to 20 factorial divided by 15 factorial or that's equal to 20 19 18 17 and 16 right so this is the formula for the factorial but it's very important that you understand the concept of permutation before using this formula so i hope this video helped and i'll see you in the next video